Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a unboxing video on another light box. This one was sent to me um, from XP Pen when I was contacted by Erin. So I am going to show you guys this. I don't know. <laughs> so in my first unboxing video for Lightbox, I kind of had a hard time doing a proper one because I was unexperienced um, with light boxes, but since I decided to keep most of my sketches and just transfer them onto the final um, paper, I decided that light boxes are probably something I'm gonna wanna focus, or light boxes are gonna be something I'm gonna wanna use more often. So, yeah, let's just get started. Um, so this is the LED light pad. It is the, they sent me, yeah, they sent me the A4S. Um, I think A4 has to do with like paper size, I believe. Don't get me wrong. If it isn't, correct me please. Um, I'll try my best to avoid the glare because of the white surface, but this is my current source of light. Uh, here's the information on the back. If you guys pause it, you can read it. Hang on, if I can focus it. Uh, there we go. It is the latest current technology with no heat generation and provides comfortable, constant working temperature and provides an extended LED lifespan. It also explains how the surface is and some of the stuff that it comes with, including um, more, uh, what was it called? Um, extra information and specs down here. So excuse the glare, but I'm going to unbox this now. I already removed the plastic covering because I was kind of excited. So I'm just going to open it like this. So the cool thing about the packaging that I like is this little, um, what is it? What do you, what do you call these? Like, I don't even know what to call these, but like bubble packaging. I'll probably call it that. So it keeps the light box itself nice and secure. So when you um, order it, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged while it is being shipped. <laughs> um, so some of the stuff that it comes with is of course... So some of the stuff that it comes with is of course the light box, an information pamphlet, an anti-fouling glove, which I'm assuming is so that you don't mess up the surface or so it doesn't read your hand. But this would be useful for like, um, what do you call that? Drawing on iPads too, I bet. So let's unbox this, or let's open this one first. Um, oh, oh god, it looks like it might be too big for my hand. I'm hoping it's like one size fits all. Oh yeah, cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's kind of a little bit too loose for my hand, but not a big deal. So I guess it's... um. One size fits all. Oh, that's nice. It also comes in uh, with a USB and a plug-in and two clips to keep your papers attached to the surface. Uh, I'll read the pamphlet later. And I'll um, probably keep this box so that there's no glare um, on the surface because mine is a glass table. Okay, so this light box is actually pretty light, but it has a weight to it so that it doesn't go flying around. But the thing I'm kind of curious about though is there's kind of like some damage to the one they sent me. There's like some paint or whatever that's already peeling on the edge here. Let me see if you guys can see that. 
there's some scratches on the edge so and some of the surface is already scratched so I don't know what's up with that yeah actually some of this is already cracked I don't know if my camera will do justice but you can kind of see in the black edges there's some scratches so I don't know if that's has to do with packaging or whoever was handling this they didn't really handle it as nicely so I'm kind of disappointed about that um, but yeah please uncover protective film for the first time I'm kind of hoping that this still works because it doesn't look very new so about this light box that I can tell you guys while I draw something first I'm gonna plug it into my laptop and then trace over one of the images based on the papers I normally use and then I'll explain all the specs and information. Be right back. So to use this you're going to want to plug it in by connecting the USB to this part or you can just directly um, connect it to a light pad, oh, light pad, dang it. You can connect it directly to a laptop or anything that has a USB port that can actually, I'm pretty sure just, just use your laptop. <laughs> So I plug it in here, and then plug it onto the edge that obviously shows where it's coming from. Oh. There you go. So, it lights up, shows you that it's plugged in, it's powered through, and you're just going to want to turn it on. Push the button, and to... Um, so apparently if it's a plugged in to let's say your laptop it can memorize your um, Light setting so let's say you power it off to go eat or something It should be able to memorize the previous setting you had when you turn it back on. Oh, it does so you probably want to press down and like Decide what how bright you want to make yours. I don't know if it's doing justice, but let me close the blinds real quick Sorry if it's a little dark, but to adjust the settings, you're going to want to push the power button up here. Hold it down until you get your preference brightness, just like most light boxes that I've, or just like the other light box that I used. And when you turn it off by just pressing on it real quick, it should turn on to the same brightness that you had previously set. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So I guess that part's confirmed. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to take one of my old drawings. Sorry if my voice like changes directions. I'm like looking for an old drawing. Okay, so this is definitely the size that would fit your um, basic printer paper or basic sized paper, but I don't really work with large pieces as much as I should, or I don't really work with large pieces that much, so I'm going to use the two types of paper that I mostly work with, which is like sketchbook paper, watercolor paper, or mixed media paper. So I'm going to take one of the sketches I've worked on before. I'm going to move this over here so you guys can see. I'm going to focus that a bit so you can kind of see the sketch coming out. And I'm going to lay the mixed media paper that I'm going to transfer over to it. And it should show how much comes through. So dang, that's actually a lot. Not bad. So that's actually a lot more detailed than the hue one that I used, which is actually really nice because even though it's super bright, so a lot of the details that I put down on paper, especially thicker paper, it doesn't come out as nicely. So this is actually a lot promising. Okay, so what I'm going to say about this light box is some of the information that I saw from the website itself. Um, the light box's highest temperature is at 90 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning it won't, uh, the surface of it won't get too hot and it'll stay comfortable if you were to use it for a long period of time. The measurements is 8.5 by 12.5 inches. It uses a triple eye protection to protect your eyes um, for an extended period of time. So the layers are the LED itself, an eye protective film, and a transparent glass panel. Um, it has the same dimension as A4 paper, so you can use it to the best decent size possible. 
um, it has some measurements along the edges so that way you can use it to whatever you please <laughs> or you can use it for whatever you please that requires measurements um, it has an acrylic screen making it really durable but my only question is the scratches that came on top of the surface um, and unlike the A4 light box which has or unlike their A4 light box which is DC powered meaning that it has to be directly connected to power like plugins and all that the A4S is both DC and USB powered so it's more portable than just looking for an outlet to plug it into and yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that okay so since I'm just gonna paint the exact same image I decided to just do a quick sketch but I think what I realized is the darker your lines are the better it'll show up when you're using a light box so my first statement about the illustrations on my Huon light box might not exactly be as accurate as I said so with that being said I'm going to turn on the light again or open the blinds again and just see the outcome of it so it's not as detailed because I'm just gonna paint it over but the sketch came out nicely or the transfer came out nicely you can actually see your lines fairly decently so my only major concern about um, the Huon light box or not the Huon wow so my only major concern about this light box is the fact that the surface itself is damaged and scratched up it doesn't look brand new um, the package I opened it from, the little bu uh, bubble protection, was actually already open, so I don't know if that's because of the person who was putting it together or if it was the shipping, but my only concern is like if this is the quality that people are going to be getting when they receive some order like this, it's going to be fairly disappointing. I don't know if you guys can see the scratch surface completely, but it's, yeah, see? Some of the scratches over here. There's some marks over here. I don't think they smudge off. They don't. So there's some damage that comes from this box. But um, I'm not doing a review video, so I can't really say much about it. It's just an unboxing just to show you guys the product that XP Pen sent me. If you guys are interested in a comparison video between this one and the Huon Lightbox or a review um, of this Lightbox, let me know in the description below. So I can give you guys a video or I can answer some of your questions in regards to this because I'm probably going to use this a lot more just to see if it's like worth it I guess but I do want to say thank you to XP Pen for sending me this um, light box I just wanted to know if this had to do with whoever packaged it together or if there was something that happened while it was being shipped because there's a lot of scratched surface and I thought I should just let you guys know but yeah, that's all I had to do for this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!